Hi, I am Dr. Tejas Shah, Diabetologist from Mumbai. So here I am at Diacon uh, for my session which is called from Cardio Renal Protection from Prevention to Treatment. So it's going to be a three-way panel discussion where we, I along with a cardiologist and a nephrologist, we are going to discuss about the role of SGLT2s primarily in cardio renal protection and how the journey of SGLT2s have developed from the time they were discovered because as we know now SGLT2 therapies are the first line drugs after metformin when it comes to reducing or preventing complications. So what I am going to discuss is mainly the role of SGLT2s in glycemic efficacy, their role in reducing HbA1c. Apart from that we are going to discuss about the role of HGLT2s in preventing the progression of kidney disease and particularly in reducing the rate of heart failure hospitalization. So it's going to be a case-based discussion where we are going to discuss about a particular case which is a, typically a patient with type 2 diabetes who develops a progressing kidney disease and how we can do something to stop the progression of kidney disease with the help of newer drugs like HGLT2s. Same way, it's going to be a case-based discussion on a patient with heart failure and how the role of SGLT2s have come in particular in reducing heart failure hospitalization. So my message is primarily that we should use these drugs. These are wonderful drugs. They are meant to reduce complications. They are not meant only to control the blood sugars because as we know now, the management of diabetes has changed from glucocentric and now we have gone over to cardio and renal centric as well as to prevent complications. So using these drugs early in the disease along with metformin, preventing the progression of kidney disease, preventing the progression to heart failure, reducing cardiovascular deaths is the role of these newer therapies with good glycemic control. Thank you very much.